Hello world, in today's video we will be troubleshooting the local installation of Sovitz SVC and specifically the 34J fork, which I recently released a tutorial on how to install and run locally. Some people were having a few issues with the installation and getting it running properly, so I just wanted to make a quick video troubleshooting and also point you guys in a few directions to help you with troubleshooting in the future. Of course, you can always just comment below like you did on the previous video and people will be glad to help you as well as myself. But an even better way is to head to the AI world discord server which i'll have linked below where people are constantly troubleshooting and answering each other's questions on how to troubleshoot and fix sovit svc and to get it running properly locally the most common problem i've seen people run into is an issue with fairsec during installation of the sovit svc fork this error will look something like failed building wheel for fairsec Fairsec required for Python projects or could not build wheels for Fairsec. A common cause for this issue on Windows is not having a proper installation of Microsoft Visual C++. So if you go ahead to the link in the description and make sure your Microsoft C++ is up to date, that can sometimes help the issue. But sometimes the issue just has to do with your installation of Fairsec in general. So I'll have the command link below. But if you run the command conda install dash C conda dash forge Fairsec, it will install the up-to-date version of Fairsec for you as well. Another common issue I've seen on both Linux and Windows is a Python version issue. In my initial video, I talked about adding Python equals 3.00 after your name to make sure your environment is in that version of Python, but I seem to skip over the importance of the Python equals 3.00 part. Certain newer versions of Pythons tend to cause issues with this fork, and creating your environment with the right version of Python can fix that issue. However, some people reported even after creating an environment with Python 3.0, they were still getting Python version errors, and the easiest way to fix this is conda install python equals 3.00 and you can try other versions of Python as well, but for me, 3.0 seemed to work the best and newer versions of Python gave me errors. One of the things about troubleshooting is it's going to be different for every single person because we all are on different hardware and we're all running inside of different environments with different pre-rescuates, so we don't know exactly what each other's running. And that's why it's so important to try to troubleshoot yourself as well as ask questions in the comments or the Discord where others who are more knowledgeable can help you as well. The third error and probably the most common that a lot of people aren't recognizing is just the fact they have a a lack of memory. In my initial video, I mentioned you need at least 10 gigabytes of space, but to be safe, it's better to have more around 25 gigabytes so it can successfully install into the temporary drive before moving it all to your regular drive. And I think a lot of people were having issues not having enough space on their C drive. I know having 25 gigabytes of open space is a lot to ask, but once it's installed, there should only be around 10 gigabytes taken up. It just needs more space during the installation process. If your problems seem to be more related to Anaconda, you can freshly install Anaconda itself or try to run it outside of an environment in a regular PowerShell command prompt. Personally, I think having it in its own environment is a much safer and easier way to run it, and that's why I run it inside of a Conda environment. There are a lot more errors than just the three that I mentioned. Those are just the three most common and the ones I see brought up in the Discord and in the comments of my last video. Like I said before, feel free to comment below any more issues and people here will try to help you. But more importantly, head to the AI World Discord link below and there will be help and troubleshooting there from us in the community. I'll have a video up soon on how to train your own data set. So I hope this helped you get a proper installation of Sovitz SVC up and running locally. Thank you so much for watching. So much love and peace.